Hey guys, um, this is a video to walk you through this assignment, how to write notes. Alright, so at the top of the page you'll see it's just basic rules for how to write notes. So a note with a stem should either look like a D or a P. Alright, so that is just talking about. Let me adjust here. Alright, if you have a note with a stem going up, it should be on the right side of the note. So it looks like a letter D, but colored in, right? All right, or if the stem is going down, because it's high on the staff, it should look like a colored in P. All right, and then the second basic rule that I have written down there says a note head should always be a circle or an oval. So of course this is the note head part. It looks round, just like a head. All right, and then if the note has a stem, so a quarter note, half note, um, dotted quarter note, that kind of stuff, all right, the stem should take up approximately two and a half spaces. We have one, two and a half, one, two and a half. So just making sure those aren't too stubby. All right, so the next part of the assignment, rule number one. If a note is in a space, it should take up the whole space. All right, 10 notes in the spaces below. So this is pretty self-explanatory. I actually wrote an example in there for you as well to look at. All right, so if it's in a space, it should take up the entire space. All right, so I always start with the note head when I'm writing just to make sure it's the right shape, make sure it's taking up enough space that it's the right size, okay? So I'll just add a stem on here quickly. All right, so this is what I don't want to see. Just a tiny little baby note head. All right, and I also do not want to see mega note where it's like taking up a space and a half. All right, and the reason that's bad is because you don't know if it's a B or an A because it's taking up too much space. And then for these, they're just hard to read. All right, so that is what number one, the rule number one is talking about. Rule number two, if a note is on a line, it should take up half of the space above it and half of the space below it. You can see I have an example for you right there too for rule number two. All right, and it takes up half the space above and half of the space below. So what I typically do is I just start small and make it bigger until it's about the size that I want. All right, so half the space above, half the space below. All right, and you're gonna write 10 of those for me. And add a stem there, okay. All right, rule number three, if a note is below the middle line of the staff, the stem of the note goes up. And if a note is above the middle line, the stem goes down. All right, the stems on the note heads below. So I wrote in a whole bunch of notes for you guys. All right, so you are gonna write the stem. So for example, that first one is on a C. It's in the C space, right, F-A-C. All right, and it is above this middle line, the B line. So the stem's gonna go down. All right, so that's how you do the first one. Okay, and the reason for this is, for example, if you have a note like really high on the staff and you write a stem above it, you're just wasting all of this room on your paper. All right, so it's to save room, it's to make notes easy to read. That's what all these rules are about. All right, so that is rule number three at the bottom of the page. At the top of the next page, all right, we've done this in class before, but I wrote some super poorly written notes. All right, so you're just gonna tell me what's wrong with each of them. So for example, number one, all right, it's pretty easy to tell what's wrong with that. You're gonna write what is wrong with number one um, at the line with for number one and same thing for number two. You're gonna write it at two and so on and so forth. There's six notes and six spaces for you to write it down. All right, if you have any questions, you can email me. Um, we can set up some time to get you on the right track. But hopefully, since we've done this in class before, even though it's been a while, um, you guys will have a little bit of a head start on it. So, all right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.